Um, we, we missed off the other moan you had before about the HS2. The, uh, apparently they've, they've stopped building it to Leeds, haven't they? They've, they've, they've only scrapped part of it, unfortunately. Mm. But yeah, the Leeds, the Eastern line, it's still coming to Manchester. So you know. Well, that's okay. But you know, you know, a country's infrastructure is based on its ability <laughs> to move goods and uh, people around. So if, if people, you know, I mean, I think, I think Victoria did this with the, with the trains because she realised that the, they needed to um, bring Britain, England into the more industrial age and, and she brought the trains in. So, so this, these, these new high speed trains to make people, to make the country all tighter together and, and easier to run, it's, it's, it's got to be a, a, a natural good idea. It's got to be what we do. But um, if it's not going, to, if, it, if, if it's not fit for purpose, what the building, if the trains are going to be outmoded and, and my, my personal belief is that they're building something today, which will probably be out of fashion by the time it's finished and there'll be something much more modern already in play everywhere else. So what do they do? Do they wait a few years for the technology to catch up with the ideas or do they build something that's not quite there yet and then scrap it in a few years time? I'm not having that, Stephen. No, go on. Don't put it on the Queen like it was some... Blood. No, it was private industry that brought trains to the world. Oh, yeah, but she, she sort of encouraged it, didn't she? We sorted it out. And did you know something very interesting? Yeah. You know, time zones and GMT... You just go with him, don't you? No, no, no. We, it's we, on one. We, in yeah. Manchester, the Manchester yeah. to Liverpool line, there is a 15-minute difference in the time if you use a sundial. That's so, so when we did the first ever, <laughs> don't not fifteen minutes. No, no, but the first ever passenger railway, there yeah. was a big problem there. What are we going to do? Because everyone's clocks were different going uh -huh. along the line. So we said, why don't we run a line from Manchester to Greenwich? Yeah, and we'll agree that's the time. So that's the Greenwich line. That's where the Greenwich Mean Time came from. Oh, I didn't know that. As, as a as a standard on land. Oh. Um, Standing back. And it was and it was private business. The Ooh. government refused. What's he been eating? And we just did it anyway. We just did it anyway because sod them. What's he been smoking again? <laughs> I know. It's, it's that <laughs> six-year-old vape juice and Aidens that I found in the back. <laughs> Sent me a bit weird. I'm I'm going lost again here. Is is there a story here, or should we move on to the next topic? Just the, the Queen, as if it was the. Ah. You like the Queen, don't you? You're very royal. You're a big royalist. <laughs> Do you know what? I'll take I'll take the royals over the bloody government these days. Well, it's you not know, a choice, really, is I've it? I've shifted now. I have shifted to what? Shifted away from to acknowledging the government. <laughs> no, <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you want to carry on watching, we've got loads of videos all around us. But if you have more real world issues and you, you something you'd like to talk about, do feel free to contact me. Just go to my website, Stephen Englander dot co dot uk fill in the form tell me what it is roughly you want to talk about and i'll be in touch thank you